Hercules. Come on, you can do it. Oh, and Derek, we trust. We might need real strong man coming here. Yeah, dude. I mean, I can give her a shot, but. Did anybody even check this window to see if it was locked? That window's not even locked. It's partially locked. Yeah, someone cut this out. It's gonna look like a bunch of failures. Yeah, this probably ain't gonna make. Ow! Young Matthew. Is there a chance that like maybe we could just? <laughs> there's nothing of value in here unless we go in there as a fucking family of four. Them Here's the thing, it's still pretty secure. <laughs> still pretty I mean, we can zip tie it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, dude. You did it, Dwayne. You did it, Dwayne. You know, the nice thing is we can just put that on, turn this back over, put the lock on, and turn yeah. it back like that. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you, giving it to you straight. All right, investors, looking for a big old rehab, right? If you're out there and you're looking for a big old rehab in Cleveland, get you some of that Section 8 cash for that multifamily action. You're going to be interested in this one. 3734 East 149th Street, okay? Coming to you guys at 79900 This is a completely vacant six-unit apartment building, but... There's a little bit more. In addition to the vacant apartment building, which, of course, is going to require a massive, probably eighty dollars to $120,000 renovation, you also get uh, the buildable lot next door, right? So you do possibly have the potential to throw another six unit, eight unit, 10 unit, something like that next door, okay? So the price, seventy nine nine, and what you're gonna get is this building along with the lot next door. In this particular building, uh, outside uh, of the interior units, what you should notice is you don't have to replace the roof on this one, right? So you, you'll be doing like interior renovations in the units. Like I said, I'd probably just like based on like my brief overview of the footage, uh, taking a look at what my team uh, pulled back to us, 80 to 120K, right? I mean, that's a very wide open ballpark, okay? Uh, you know, if you're a seasoned, astute investor looking to take on a project this large, uh, as you know, Right, the bigger the project, the wider open the budget's going to get, and uh, you know it's kind of like a work in progress to put together that bid, right? So of course you're going to need to get in there yourself, uh, or with your contractor, or yourself if you are the contractor, and, and really hammer that down and narrow down uh, that estimate. But just you know, looking at it from you know 500 feet in the air or whatever, you know, 500 foot view here, 80 to 120k, and you don't have to do the roof, right? That roof, uh, it, it's got some low spots in there, but you're going to get that. Uh, according to the seller, he replaced that thing about four years ago. Uh, in real estate, we always say something. We say trust but verify, right? Uh, in my brief review of it, I would say, yeah, it could be. The low spots, they're not like the most concerning thing to me, uh, but it'd be nice not to have those. But you're definitely going to want to get somebody up on that roof to you know, ver verify everything before you get into such a big project. But other than that, folks, after you get through all that stuff, right, this particular property's got potential to bring in a ton of money, right? Section 8-wise, you would be bringing in $4,500 a month out of this bad boy, right? So what we're going to do from here uh, is field cash offers, folks. Now, as far as those cash offers go, they got to be as-is cash offers, though, okay? I want y'all to do your due diligence. I want y'all to travel the property, right? Tour the whole thing. I want y'all to bring your contractors. I want y'all to get your asses up there on that roof. Make sure everything uh, is to your liking and you leave no stone unturned. I want y'all to do all of that, but I don't want y'all to try to give me an offer contingent on y'all doing all that. That ain't going to fly. No, no, no. If you want to do all that, you got to go in, get it all done. And then when you've got yourself to the point where you're ready Willing and able to make that cash offer where it's like, yo, no motherfucking questions asked. As long as the seller provides you with clear title, you're going to close the deal. That, then, and only then is when I want your offer. Because if you sell me like, hey, man, I want to pay $79.99 contingent on this, this, and this. No, I don't want to fucking hear it. The answer is no. You could offer four hundred grand contingent on this, this, and this. I don't fucking care. 
do your due diligence up front. Under no circumstances are we going to be taking this property off the market while you decide if you're comfortable moving forward or not. Do all your due diligence prior to submitting that offer, right? You want to get inside of there, you can take any contractor you want. Just let us know. Send us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. We will get you in the property. You hit us up before 5 o'clock. We'll get you in there same day. If it's after 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there the very next business day. If you're an out-of-state investor and you have a local contractor you want to tour it on your behalf, that's fine. That's good. We'll get them in there on your behalf, right? But you got to get all that due diligence done. And then and only then do you submit your as-is offers to me. And that as-is offer could just be like, hey, man, James, can you write up the contract? As is, 79.9, I'm ready to go. I've done all my inspections. I'm ready to rock. Let's close this thing out in 10 days so I can get started in the new year rocking and rolling on my renovations, okay? Sales at Holton Wise. And obviously, folks, cash offers only, right? Totally vacant, uh, torn up building. You know, no finance offers. No offers with contingencies. If you want to do a refi down the road, right, with a lender, that's cool. That's great. But you got to have cash now. And if you got cash now, but you don't have a lender for later and you need a lender, let me know. Sales at HoldenWise.com. I'll get you some lenders who will be more than happy to refi this out for you. But what I need now, as is cash offers, sales at HoldenWise.com. Let's go. When I, GP, when I uh, Google Earth this address, I was like, oh, yeah, this is my kind of place. This is definitely the place. I don't want to be. Oh, yeah. Brand new? Brand new. Yeah. Oh, there goes the floor. Yeah. You think this place has electricity still? That's. You gotta keep your. And keep your workers hydrated. Keep that Don Julio. That's pretty cool. Carpet. Coming across. Look at that light fixture. <laughs> it's like the nicest thing in here, dude. Damn, that bitch is like new. <laughs> That glass is clean. Compared to everything, wow, okay. A lot of wood. A lot yeah, of wood. Hey, be careful when you're stepping upstairs because there's like a couple of floor boards that are a little weaker than more. So you say that, but as I pan up here and I can see directly into the upstairs. Yeah, so just don't walk. <laughs> don't walk in that area. <laughs> Jesus. There's no doors back there that we can like get into. Hell yeah! Now that is the kind of bathroom I'm talking about. You got no ceiling, no wall. No poop hole though. Damn it. This place is dope. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that wall. You're going to need to get some windows. What? The fact that this wall is basically not attached to the building anymore in this back unit. Yeah, do you see this? What? You see this wall? Yeah, the fucking windows are the same. Well, yeah. 
This fucking the, door the, is shut. The wall is pulling away. Like the exterior wall is pulling away from the house. The upstairs is cool. Oh, that yeah, I saw that. That's so cool. Yeah, that should you be don't see fall. that every day, dude. You don't. Cause usually it just falls. Yeah, usually it's gone by the time. <laughs> yeah. He had this door shut, and I was like, oh, is this how we get into the other units? And then I yeah, realized the door upstairs is shut too. Ah! Ah! Hey, every word of this fucking door. Are you down on the first floor? Yeah, there's only two units down here, right? There's two here, two up, and then two in the back we can't get to. Says. No, there's four, well, there's four units already. Did I go in this area? Oh, I oh, never mind. This is one. I don't think I went in here. I think I skipped straight to the bathroom. Dude. Do the bathroom? Yeah. With the lead paint? So he's saying we can't get in this back one here, but the only thing on there is that. I don't remember his exact words, but he said we're gonna have a hard time getting into the back two because the only key he has is for those two side doors. Do we have? I, don't, I mean, we can we can cut the bolt off because the only thing holding that door closes is a bolt, like a. Yeah, I mean, he also. Oh the lock box is broken because we didn't know the code, so maybe it's Oh my god. Where's that? That goes downstairs? So that's no, that goes there's nothing over there. Oh, let me go. That's actually the side door he's in. Like that's the main Yeah, I saw this one. This is oh look at the fucking mail shoots. Yeah. And then obviously there's no That's cool. Basement entrance. So I feel like we do the top two. We tried to get in the other two. We tried the other two, yeah, and obviously we finished the first one. Hell yeah. Do you want to go with that? Yeah. You guys think I'm going to see something cool up here? Okay. So you guys think something cool is going to be up here? I only have to look around a little bit, so I wanted to keep wandering. So oh, I see what Derek's morning. talking about. This floor. Yeah, that floor is like not super sturdy. It's it's there still. Unlike the ceiling. The good old suicide porch. You just jump right off there. That's a classic. No. I think that might all be in your head. There's no way this roof leaks. Nope. This place is just straight up ready to rent. Window counterbalances. Oh shit, I didn't see this. That's pretty cool. Maybe there was like a little fire here. Really dirty raccoon hands. Oh my god. <laughs> Tiny raccoon hands. Oh yeah. Yeah, these bathrooms are all. This is the nicest one so far. Dude, wait till you get back there, man. There's a brand new window. No, there's not. Mm -hmm. Oh! It's not doing a good job. It's not keeping in any. Well, it's missing one of those sashes, so. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's <laughs> just a screen. It's just chilling right here. This is just the screen. Who yeah. put this in? I don't know, but they uh, fucking broke this. Trying to do something with it. Damn, dude. It's not broken, but. 
We definitely gotta do some. It's gotta be like re -glue. some work. You gotta re-glue it. I was wondering why there was a hefty breeze in here. Like wow, with a brand new window, you'd think that would keep a lot of that out. Yeah. Molten case. What's Molten that? Have you ever seen that before, Vince? What? This little hatch right here? It's probably a fuse box if I have to guess. Can you reach it with your No, don't chip it off. I can do it. Yeah, alright, so probably a fuse box. If you feel real wild, I can stand on this chair. If you have a broken lighter, we can uh, stand on. Yeah. Peekaboo. We got one more in there up here. So, this door is padlocked? Yeah. Obviously, we don't have a key. We can go pop that fucker off with some bolt cutters and just put it in another lockbox and have a. I, I'm down just yeah. to see. I'm down well, just to see. The same code. Yeah. This is unit two. Bathroom sink in the kitchen. I think it's a good idea because. I mean, that's the only thing holding each other. The fucking padlock. It's just one of those weird circular ones that's hard to. Toilet brush. I mean, I haven't panned up in every room, but every room is missing chunks of the ceiling. Yeah. Like even this room. And then most of the floors. Who's paranoid? Me. About what? Just that the body cam wasn't actually filming, but I think it is. I see, you love to see that. Uh, right in front of the bathroom over there. It's a little weak. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I filmed all this shit. I'm Looks good. like this fucking house. Like, there's more, uh... There's more visible, like... Hey, skip this last, uh... This fucking what if I don't? <laughs> <laughs> Up to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> what if I don't? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh boy. I want to skip that top step, too. We'll go over gently. Bro, that bottom step's good, dude. We'll go this <laughs> I'm trying to get to the basement the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, I know he wants to go back there, but so if we're going to be done with this side of the house, should we go down here now? Yeah. Alright, well you're going to have to, uh... Superman? You're going to have to hold. Jesus Christ, dude. I'll hold your light. <laughs> hold, please. Can you hold it where I can see? <laughs> I gotta get it on camera when you inevitably fall to your death. Mm. I, I feel like I'm probably a little bit too chunky to go down there. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll, I'll take over. Yeah. <laughs> Blinding the shit out of me. <laughs> right in the <laughs> fucking eyes, dude. You want this light too, or are you good with that one? That's uh, your light. I'll just lighter. Yeah. Um, so this is the staircase. Safety, dude. This door's holding up the ceiling. I can't turn around. Here we go. You got a solo one? Yeah. 
this uh oh boy there was quite a bit of give in that first next step so dude this place is fucking full oh shit like cool shit well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to look at. I don't want to say cool shit right now, but there's just a lot of stuff. Oh, man, I might have to come down there, dude. Hang on, I want this to tilt up a little bit. How do you do that? This push, way? push up and it'll tilt up. Alright, cool. Alright, resume. He doesn't like us. Here's a furnace. Oh, you know what? Here's two of them. Old. Probably gotta get replaced. That's <laughs> safe to say. Still alive. Okay. I'm about to finish up on this side of the basement and go to the back. Oh no, there's a cat corpse! What's up? There's a cat corpse! A cat corpse? Cat corpse! No! Alright, P, buddy. Like super dead? Like from a long time ago? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Not there was something that just ran out the window here. Electrical is in a bit of a disarray.
Yeah, I'm coming back. Okay. You were worried about it. You were Dude, there's like a whole kitchen down here. Kitchen? Like a maintenance suite, kind of. Oh, cool. Well, I mean, you do have six units in here. This is, you know, actually pretty cool. As I started looking around, a fucking cat or something, like, went out one of the coal chutes. Uh -huh. Scared the shit out of me. You'll have that on those big jobs. Yeah. 26 minutes, we're about to skip over, you know. How much does it go, 30? Like, I think 30, and then it stops recording. All right, so we're done in here. Lock this up. Ooh. I tried to browse around. I found a calendar from 2003 on the wall. Was it cool? Babes on it, it, or? No, it was like one of our desk calendars, okay. but I'm assuming that's the last time people were uh, up to shenanigans here yeah there was a, a bunch of magazines I was contemplating looking through there had a uh, newspaper with Colt McCoy on it <laughs> oh that's old yeah that's definitely old there was a uh, you, uh, is there anyone else that was number 12 that's prominent he was number 12 right he was 12 yeah I don't want me for the Browns you fuck what an asshole <laughs> yeah Tom Tom Brady yeah he was definitely on the Browns Brett Favre was number four. That's divisible. <laughs> <laughs> you should get that. I did. It's, oh, it's did? so bad, yeah. Because it's hard to see it in the camera, but it's all missing. Yeah. All right, Hercules. I mean, it seems like this is going to hold together, right? Brand new. Even if it's not, as long as we get that off, yeah, and I can just pop that in. we can pop in. Hercules! Come on, you can do it. Oh, and Derek, we trust! We got it like so it won't, it doesn't fit. This is prime television right here. This is the stuff that HGTV wanted from us. Here, you wanna try it? This thing won't fit in. Yeah, come on, dude. You're, you're the I'm strong. I'm fucking with one of these in Maple Heights. And it was oh, that thing's thick. That's what I'm saying. You can cut through that with effort. Well, oh, oh, don't hurt yourself. That's slippery. The problem is getting it angled. You might need real strong man coming here. Yeah, dude. I mean, I can give her a shot, but. Did anybody even check this window to see if it was locked? That window's not even locked. It's partially locked. You guys making any headway on it? I can give it a shot. It's line. It's just, it's that looks fun. really it's thick. Just, it's it's just really thick, and there's really not a whole lot of room. You have to like cut it with the That's tip. That's why it's and that never works. Yeah, it's designed that way. Well, now I'm gonna feel like an idiot if we can't get in though. Hey, yeah, you hyped this footage. up, bro. Yeah, someone cut this out. It's gonna look like a bunch of failures. Yeah, this, this probably ain't gonna this make. A... Ow! Are we in? Uh, this <laughs> right in the first. The problem is you can't fit it in there entirely. It's you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That way. Yeah, but I'm just on, I'm just on the edge. Of just it. imagine it's like a strongman competition. Where you need a grinder, but uh. I'm gonna be real sad if we can't get in, bro. I don't think so. I, not that I do not have faith in young Matthew. Is there a chance that like maybe we could just... <laughs> nah. Not without alerting the whole neighborhood. It's like this rubber piece that's... 
I mean, bro, you can almost just bolt cut the fucking part that it's hanging on and just be done with it. Could. We could, could we screw it shut? You got screws? What if we... I have the square screws. We could screw it shut and just tell them straight up, like... You know what I can do is that's what I'm saying. here, and then it just gives the illusion that it's still... I have a... I don't think there's anything they could fucking steal. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing of value in here, unless we go in there as a fucking family of four. Probably gotta do the top two. Oh, well, maybe not. No, because I'm just oh, gonna get shit. the illusion of. You don't have a saw, do you? No. Like a sawzall type deal? Anything. No. Because there's that lumber in there. If we grab two pieces of lumber, we can tie them together like we did at uh, it's No! You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Here's the thing, it's still pretty secure. <laughs> still pretty I mean, we could zip tie it. Cause like yeah. now... Yeah, hold it. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, dude. You did it, Dwayne. You did it, Dwayne. You know, the nice thing is we can just put that on, turn this back over, put the lock on, turn yeah, it back we'll, like that. We'll never know. Nobody's coming back here. No one will be the lock. No one... See, we would have missed all this shit, dude. Here, bro. I want it. It's exponentially colder. Browns. Yeah, it's uh... I can't see the floor now. What if I'm going to fall through and I just can't tell? You might. Well, there's He's <laughs> a fucking big ass hump right there. You can basically go the whole length of the building. Uh, yeah. I went pretty far back there. Ooh, another really good bathroom. I'd say I'd uh, probably be cautious right here on the floor. Because of the big bow in it? Yeah. yeah we'll be out. Oh wow, that floor's not looking good either. Wow, appliances and everything. I think I punched myself in the face trying to break that lock. Battle scars, dude. Now that's nifty. <laughs> yeah, how about this? This is pretty nifty, too. <laughs> oh, 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 dude. Yeah, we would have missed way too much shit if we didn't get in here. So these are much smaller. Trying to give you some visual basement, but having a hard time. He said, fuck that unit. I, I want to go off and get stabbed by myself. Dirt. Nope. How is it? There's poop right there. Don't step in the poo. Wow. Oh, yeah, dude. We did not miss out on this. That's what I'm saying. That's what we're going An air dye bike? The chargers you find? Endless. I'll try it there. So there's gotta be like a front common hallway here, right? Sorry. That's what I'm doing, So that's a closet. Nice mouthful. He's out for the top. It's not there. And I think that back if you want. MIA balcony. Intruder! There's no way that shit's been locked up the whole time. Dude, how cool would it be if that guy just lied to me? 
<laughs> Joke's on him, dude. No, please, please. Wait, there's no... Downstairs. So downstairs is the other unit? Aren't there four units back here? There's only two. There's six total. Oh, so this is it, dude. This is it. Dude, nice floor. My favorite is the window. Which one on the one on the right or left? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the aesthetic you're looking for in your flooring. Yes, that's it, dude. So wait, where's the oh the one? They're all one bedrooms then. Yeah, they're all one bed. Oh, look at that! Did you guys see? You can see straight out into the fucking. Yeah, I saw the All right. If you want to. That's a feature. <laughs> That's a feature. Alright, now. Watch this masterpiece of reconstruction I do here. Gimbal took a shit. It quit on us. Ta da! I'm, I'm sorry, but I like Mystic. The, oh. <laughs> you'll see when you check out the footage that I was watching, and all of a sudden the camera was just like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> well. I turned off the recording. Okay. Do you know if there's anything else we should do for that? No, I think it's good, actually. Nobody's gonna see it, because you can't see where it's going. Yeah. So, if you don't know, you just assume. <laughs> I wonder, uh... I was curious if there were any ways in for that cat. I didn't see any. Although, he could be sneaking out through, like, a bucket of water. I mean, how's he getting in is what I want to know. Because, oh, the guy had Polaroids of what this used to look like. Like, there was a uh, fire pit here with, like, flowers or something on a Polaroids. I was looking at them. Yeah, at one point. I don't see why not. It's not a bad building if it wasn't in such bad shape. Just, yeah, it got left. The basement was pretty cool. Like, they, like, I meant, like, an industrial kitchen. Like, it looked like it had, it had like, all kinds of shit down there. Hmm. So, I'll bet that whoever's the maintenance dude or the owner or something. Probably lived down there. He was probably, uh, and he looked like he would have been pretty cozy. Looked nice. You know, windows, all things though. except. Well, I guess. I, I mean, there used to be, <laughs> used to be windows. I don't know, it was just kind of cool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.